Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game two of BSL round of 16, group A. Hopefully the audio balance is okay as I adjusted it in between. I'm going to say hey Chippa out there in stream. Upper right in corner we have Doodle, aka Retriever, starting as the orange Protoss. Bottom right in corner we have Stunter as the Teal Terran. This is going to be on Vermeer. I've seen Stunter pull out some really good early game pressures previously. I want to see if he's going to pull that out against doodle this time because honestly if it ends up being another match like game one i could see doodle running away with it again because doodle's macro was very impressive i enjoyed his decision making across all portions of the match felt like it was really solid and just the game sense was really on point which led him to just having overwhelming macro into the late game and stunter just not able to keep up and doodle is the caliber of player where i do feel like he isn't going to falter, just heads up to the two factory uh, plus two, the uh, plus two level one armor timing or the level three, level two armor um, move out. Looks like I think he wants to go for a 12 Nexus, so he's going for an early scout here. I also do want to just have this out in YouTube land. A shout out to Eski, who's been a, who's kind of an odd pillar in the community. I don't know if he recognizes that, but he's just out there in chat land a lot, participates in CPL. Initial scout there, lack of gas. Barracks constructed. It looks like it is going to be gateway first. I'm a little bit surprised to see the gateway first with such an early probe scout. Did Doodle miss it? I don't think he missed it. So he's cycling back. Let's see if he goes for a gas deal too late as the refinery is up. It's odd that he brought the probe in and brought it right back out. But let's see if this turns into one gate into expansion potentially. SCV cycling out for a scout itself let's see if stunter manages to get first scout as well it looks like he is going to get first scout as he's headed to the north but it's odd to see that earlier scout out from doodle without any sort of follow-up plan scv's given the group hug to repair each other we are seeing an initial zealot no gas as of yet so it is possible it would be a very okay now the gas tacking down it is possible that it is just going to be one zealot into expansion. Stunter has the three SCV and gas. Doodle exiting now as the initial Marine, a few seconds off completing. The SCV just parking itself. Now keep in mind there's only two pylons down and oftentimes there is kind of a red alert moment when you don't see that third pylon, especially when the probe has exited the base and has an opportunity to do something clever. Zelt making its way back across. I assume the Zelt's going to group up with the probe and we're gonna see an assault up the ramp Factory already in construction. I don't think he's going to get a lot out of that. Cybernetic score warping in. Second Zealot has been produced. And it is going to move out as well. So a lot of early pressure here from Doodle. Off the initial scout. See if he goes and follows it up. Zealot's marching up the ramp. Immediately getting a massive amount of damage. On that first ring. The SCV halted on that factory line. The Zealot chasing, re-engaging. Probe almost got the kill. Working on that SCV... The three Marines have spawned. That should be fine. The Zealot might want to retreat, at least for the time being. Unfortunately, in that period of time, that factory will have an opportunity to produce a Vulture. The Marines need to not wander out too far. But now you have two Zealots and a Probe versus three Marines, which is a winning fight for the Zealots, depending on Micro. So the Marines retreating. You have four in complement now. Good hits. Good Micro. There by Doodle. Three Marines down, one left. And now this is Danger Town. On top of the, the Zealots are dangerously close to that Vulture, so the Vulture's going to have some trouble. Surround from the SCV. The weakened Vulture, or the weakened Zealot, gets taken out by the Vulture, and it looks like a pretty solid defense from Stunter, able to wipe out what's left. Battle Probe, almost able to get a Vulture kill, but with all of that destruction and a Dragoon out with range pending, the Dragoon actually moving up, killing a Marine. So Doodle, I don't know if that was just a miss rally, or if you really did want to mix it up in the base like this, I have a feeling, well, no, he's got that second Dragoon moving out. So it's not a mistake. A bunker still not being constructed. So Doodle expanding behind all of this as well, keep in mind. No mine upgrade as of yet, but Stunter having a lot of trouble dealing with Doodle here in the early game. The Dragoons able to wipe everything out. The bunker's up, but I don't even know that there's any Marines. The Marine is about halfway constructed to even enter that bunker. But for the moment, Doodle doesn't realize that there's no Marines occupying. Now he does, as he's taking some damage. But good map control. 
Finally, that SCV in the main being dealt with, but it's going to be able to see that robotics facility in the follow-up gateway, and it has to know that there's a Nexus coming online. But this is going to put Doodle way ahead in the early game economics. Oh, SCV just barely. I don't know. That SCV needs to just break out to a corner. Stunter wanting to apply some pressure behind this. Not getting a lot out of this. Losing the Marine very, very early with the push out against the Dragoons on the front. And he didn't open up an alley for additional mutes to sneak out. He does have a siege tank coming down to the low ground. Is working on siege tech. Is going to need that. Needs to be careful with that siege tank with three Dragoons nearby. Gets a shot to reduce that count to two Dragoons, which makes it a lot more defensible on this front. Command center about halfway complete. Doodle has already has the worker lead. That natural expansion way up. Map control to a large degree. Tacking on a support bay as well. With any observatory uh, to follow. And so Stunter down in supply. Granted, a lot of that is in probes, but Doodle's economy is going to be very, very strong to swing this. He, does, he has started a pylon blockade, but he has the option where he could stage Dragoons outside Stunter's natural expansion to apply a little bit of latent pressure if he wants. He could get a shuttle, get a reaver, and do some economic harassment as well. He's already economically ahead, though. Or once he has that shuttle and reaver out, he might feel comfortable going ahead and grabbing that, grabbing that third. I don't know that he's recognized that it was two siege tanks and there's still a single factory being run. Stunter tacking on that armory and playing a little bit more economically defensively. The Vulture sneaking out, just testing that front rung. This is one of those maps. This is going to be a very late map reveal. This is one of those maps where there is an easy to take third for Terran, where oftentimes they can construct it, hold that corner, and that bridge becomes a difficult engagement point as you're looping around uh, with just Dragoons. Observer making its way forward. I think Doodle wants to get eyes in his opponent's space before he makes any critical decisions, but it looks like he does potentially want to follow this up with some Reaver aggression as he is getting the speed upgrade on that shuttle. The Observer walking in, no turrets in place as of yet, sees just the two siege tanks, third siege tank up on the high ground, and is going to see that single factory count. And I'm thinking that this is going to provoke an additional Nexus grab, not immediately, because there's not a lot of pressure. Yeah, there's not a lot of pressure that Stunter, don't need that, there we go. That Stunter can apply. Second factory being dropped. And Doodle is one of those guys where you give him this clear an information. I, I understand what Stunter's doing. He's trying to play it light. He doesn't want to drop the turret ring too early. He is playing economic catch up. But look at this. Do is Doodle going to double expand behind this? I kind of like that decision making. He's got the information. Recognizes the lack of pressure. Is debating going for a double expand. He might be able to get away with it. With just the three factories. Particularly with the Reaver support. That is coming online in the main with that shuttle because opening up the eggs for a second there I thought he was shooting his own shuttle as the lack of turrets along the exterior could so the siege uh, this many siege tanks pretty solid defense against reavers to start but with that speed shuttle going over the edge that will give stunter more pause for thought where he doesn't really want to move out with a lot of these units to assault one of these bases so I kind of like the the early aggression style here. Speed just about finishing as that shuttle finding the first turret, taking a couple free hits as it swings its way across. Some SCVs look like they scattered momentarily. This is a big siege tank count though, and I would not be shocked potentially to see Stunter. I mean, he has the opportunity. He's got that starport dropping, so it looks like he does want to make his way towards level two weapons, and he does have that academy rolling. But honestly, with this many siege tanks, and the plus one weapon upgrades and the drop of these three factories, this is enough to go for semi-push. Usually you want four factories with vultures supporting to, to roll that. And I don't know that it would be successful against four bases. Checking that third along that uh, corner and pulling back. I'd like seeing the engineering bay floating above the turrets to provide that extra layer of production, uh, protection. But right now, Doodle with the big supply lead. He's got four bases up and running, has the gateways. He just needs to lay down the infrastructure to go for that heavy macro style. And it looks like we're looking something similar to game one, where we just saw Doodle run away with it economically. Second army being placed. We do see that science facility coming online as well, so that level two weapons can start up. It's going to be level one weapons, I think, around like the 12-minute mark, somewhere around there. I need to get those. One of these days, I'm just going to sit down and memorize all of that timing. 
of the seconds of everything. It looks like the, you'd think after all these years of StarCraft commentating, I'd have those seconds memorized, but I don't. It's just how I roll. Don't memorize the unnecessary information so it doesn't cloud my brain. Command center being constructed to go ahead and go for that third command center. So it looks like it is gonna be more of the level two, level three weapons, level two max push. But with the four bases already up and running, Photon Cannon being dropped, anticipating maybe, uh, I guess it didn't see the starport in position. We do see a control tower being dropped, which open up, opens up the possibility for a dropship. So preventative cannons, preventative reaver right there. Doodle with a good shuttle count to stop anything moving out right this second. Two additional factories being placed. Siege tanks on the high ground to go ahead and open up that low ground base grab. Pylon blockading. Okay, what? Curious what the... Why well, he's opening up his own pylon here. More pylons around. But Doodle with a big surge now going for that gateway surge as well. Hear that and I expect to see something dying out in front. Stunter. Plus one weapons moving out. One Dragoon down. Second Dragoon being pushed off. Two shuttles looking to try to stymie some of these base grabs. I don't know that they're going to have a lot of success just because this is a very large attack force. But it looks like rather than dealing with that third, just going to drop all of the units on the main. Shuttle is going to be opened up as that turret is down. The Zealots mixing up in the SCV line and the command center being lifted off. So serious economic damage. Also working on that armory. That armory being taken out would be huge. Absolutely. And also a bit of splash damage. So two supply depots drop. The armory's not in the red. Looks like it is going to stand. Additional factories being tacked on. Trying to do additional damage. SCV scrambling to try to repair. Low on health. Siege tanks have grouped up. Is there going to be a little bit of latent damage? Or is that... Looks like the armory is going to be saved. That is huge. But damage still done. Stunter at sub-50 workers. Good look at the additional factories across the line. And uh, dropping on top of the mine. Trying to trick the mine out. But not quite able to do so. Okay, there it was able to do so. Nice little micro trick and more SCVs getting wiped out along these lines. There's also this shuttle that's going to have to find an escape route. So Doodle, not only grabbing additional, basically grabbing everything top left, it looks like. Also getting a lot done with those Reavers, although he might want to get out of dodge, salvage these shuttles. SCVs scrambling all directions. Looks like they're going to find that third finally going to land. But with the siege tanks somewhat out of position and unseaged, a large Dragoon force is making its way towards the third also upgrades not bad here plus one weapons plus one armor which is actually going to match the siege tank plus one armor plus one weapons as well which i think makes them at least unsieged equalized but comsat dropping it looks like the tank's able to reposition this is now going to be a difficult to assault situation but wow the gateway count behind this and high templar starting to take the field Doodle and firm control here. Let's see if he gets those forges up and running again. Goliath finally taking care of those shuttles. I believe the second shuttle. I don't think. Wow. Never mind. Shuttle meta it is. Rather than arbiters. Three shuttles moving up. Zealot bombs. In the grouping. The siege tanks not able to stop the initial mine clearage. To the south. And now here come the zealots. Big mind drag and going all the way up into the main to go for the high ground siege tanks. The Dragoons actually might be able to focus fire this Nexus down. Or the Nexus, the command center down. Great engagement there from Doodle. It looks like he is ignoring the command center as it's lifting off to the rear. Zealot's still creating some havoc in the main. It looks like they're finally getting taken care of. But more economic damage. And right now, if you look at the supply counts, it tells the story. Doodle way ahead. Near 200 supply, while Stunter is again sub-50 SCVs. Doodle has capped the upper left-hand bases, is just now transferring probes. Unrelenting pressure has needs to get some more shuttles. I'm wondering if he's running off multiple robotics facility. It looks like it's... Okay, he does have two. I kind of like this style of meta. This might lead Stunter into a situation where he might want to just pick up and attack something. Given... The current situation but he is set up 
primarily to go for just that third base grab and the move towards 200 200 but he's got a long way to go as doodle has hit 200 supply nearly as he's just breaching the 100 mark on top of that kind of like seeing just pylons being grabbed down here because it's a little bit too early to start mining or even like SCVs move, yeah, probes moved out of the latent mining bases. The command center being lifted off once again as Siege Tank's not in position. Some Dragoons a little bit out of position there, but the command center lifted off. Stunter having trouble even mining at his third. Plus, I missed the High Templar drop at the natural expansion, which got some additional damage done there. I think that shuttle was just there from before. There's another Psy Storm waiting if Doodle finds it. Looks like he's not going to, but that could have obliterated a lot of SCVs. Shuttle going to go ahead and exit its way back out. And once again, sneaking in, Stunter is just being assaulted on all ends and more shuttles making the way across to, I assume, go for that armory. Reaver dies along that edge, but units still landed. At least the Dragoon Force has been pushed out, but that second armory, go ahead and does get wiped out before, I think that's plus two weapon or plus two armor, plus two armor finishes. So it might be a long time before plus two weapons or plus two armor is available for stunters. So upgrade lead is going to stand. And I believe, well, let's see if he kept up with it. Yeah, he's now he's starting to work on the additional upgrades. Doodle grabbing every expansion past this. It feels a little bit early to do so. More High Templar starting to saturate. And he can just play Gateway Man from here, honestly. In a strong enough position to do so. And he's got all of those. The shuttle bombs have been absolutely fantastic. Doodle really showing how to do it here. Strong contention in the initial rounds of the round of 16. Zealots peeling forward, dropping on those siege tanks. No mind drags this time, but the rear siege tanks look like they are going to be wiped out. Zealots also up on the high ground, dealing with units there. Psy Storm drops now that that area has been cleared. And again, we are below the 50 SCV count. That command center under assault. Again, I think focus fire of those Dragoons could kill that command center. Doodle and firm control has dropped a bit of supply here, but still is nearly double that of Stunter. Stunter having massive trouble stemming the tide. Sidestorm's now uphill to kill some additional siege tanks. And Doodle withdrawing with the few troops does have those shuttles that can be resupplied and go for another grouping. Did Stunter... Does he... So plus three weapons is finished. I don't even know at this stage that he's going to bother with additional weapons. He's got seven factories instead of nine at these late stages of the match. And he is going to be outproduced by the gateway count. We do have a Stargate up and running. More side storm drops. Doodle being unrelenting. Completely obliterating that natural expansion. It looks like the High Templar are losing their lives for the effort, but well worth it. And at this stage, Doodle, yeah, can just take his time mining exterior expansions. Looks like he's got some additional Stargates going up in the upper left-hand corner. Just take his time with this and make sure Stunter doesn't make any too, uh, any crazy moves and he should be fine. Stunter does have that plus three weapons, but... The Dragoon upgrades are not too shabby. Granted, there's no Arbiter support, but I kind of like this style of play. Fleet Beacon being dropped, Cybernetic Score. Also warping in to push those air upgrades. Three base Terran. This is one thing, though. Terran can be hard to kill. Big bank, however, for Doodle. Not much bank for Stunter. Grant More drops up on the high ground, wiping out the siege tanks. These engagements have been absolutely fantastic from Doodle. Dragoons, however, just sat he's just A-moving these Dragoons forward. It looks like now he's going to withdraw with what he's got. Why isn't doing so? And even though it's a smaller SCV count for Stunter, he might want to just stick with this, being that his main is now mined out. His natural expansion doesn't have a lot left either and he's basically only got one base otherwise secured observer at the six o'clock just making sure that hasn't been sneakily grabbed would love to see a pylon at the three o'clock as well to delay things even further you see distance mining happening there a command center is being built to try to ninja grab that six o'clock base over doodle 
not missing a beat, continuing to move forward. The Zealots are in the rear, so it looks like some of these Dragoons are going to get melted off. Yeah, they're being blocked by their own troops, now going end around. Might even be able to halt construction of that new command center. The Zealots still able to make it on top of those siege tanks from the opposite angle. The command center once again being lifted off. Looks like that's going to be focused fired rather than the new command center under construction. Siege tanks trying to peel in. Now the focus fire on that command center, and it looks like it is going to get picked off. Stunter going to GG right there. Doodle with the convincing 2-0 victory over Stunter. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening. Give a like and subscribe. Share with some friends. Spread the brood war cause. Thank you.